It's Friday, the 25th day of January 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruthina Sajin. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. Now, starting off the bulletin, the story from Jinja District, where the Fisheries Protection Unit and the Uganda People's Defense Forces are set to deploy more enforcement on the waters of Lake Victoria to fight illegal fishing. Now, Lieutenant Colonel James Noagawa, the commanding officer said with the deployment more detached centers will also be created at various landing sites on Lake Victoria. Now on Thursday while appearing on a local radio station in Ginger Town he said they were working under the guidance of President Yori Museveni where he called for registration and licensing of boats aimed at fighting illegal fishing. He said they are also in the process of reviving FPU committees at various landing sites since most of them have turned to extortion explaining he had received various reports that during operations suspects found with immature fish and illegal jeers are asked for money <coughs> claiming to be taking it to sectoral commanders. News from Soroti District, after just a few days of celebrating the good academic performance in the primary leaving examinations, Soroti District in on Wednesday turned into mourning. Sorry. Now this followed the sudden death of the District Education Officer, DEO, Everest Okello, 59 years, who succumbed to a diseased liver, to a diseased liver at Soroti Regional Referral Hospital. Now Simon Edoro, the District Vice Chairperson, described Okello as a good fearing father and unifying factor who worked for the good of the district. Paul O'Mell, the, the sorority municipality mayor, described Okello as a friendly educationist who loved his work and respected the teaching fraternity. You're still watching New Vision TV News. I am Ruthie Nasita. Let's take a break and look at what is making the headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Now, the Kampala Sun is also on the market today. Get your copy of the Kampala Sun at just 10,000 shillings and get all the gossip, entertainment and the news that you thought you could never get into this copy of the Kampala Sun. For those who cannot access the hard copies of these two papers, all you have to do is to subscribe to the e-paper. The link is on your screen and you can access all the products published by Vision Group. And if you have a mobile phone that is a smartphone, you can download the Vision Group e-paper app on your phone and access all the products published by Vision Group. I am Ruthina Seje. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Let us continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. And from Wakiso, several tenants who occupy part of late Dawoodi Ochenga's land in Nansana, Wakiso district, have a chance to obtain land titles of their land. Now, Cheng, a former member of Buganda Luchiko and member of parliament representing Mitiana district in the post independence government, owned 122 acres located in Dawudi Ochenga zone in Nansana municipality. His daughters, Linda and Joanny Tocheng, have acknowledged tenants to occupy about 23 acres, which are part of Block 203, to buy themselves out, offering to process for them titles. Now, the two sisters, according to documents, obtained the land after their, fa their late father's land was subdivided among his eight children and two widows in 2016. The meeting presided over by the LC1 chairperson, Lawrence Tibiriga, intended to introduce the two sisters as the rightful owners of the land after tenants were allegedly duped by Charles Balabalunio, who sold them the land. Let's close off the bulletin from Lira District, where the 14th Provisio Peace Prayer Week has kicked off in Lira with a call to people to be good politicians 
in their, lo in their localities. Now, the annual event that attracted over 6,000 pilgrims from three sub-regions of northern Uganda, including Langoa, Choli, and West Nile, as well as South Sudan, kicked off on Monday at Lango College Playgr Playground in Lira Municipality. Now, Lira Diocese is hosting the annual Peace Prayer Week organized by Justice and Peace Commission with the theme, Good Politics is Other Service of peace. While opening the event officially on Tuesday, the Archbishop of Gulu Archdiocese, John Baptist Odama, called upon children of God from all walks of life to learn to live in peace, forgiveness, reconciliation, unity and harmony with one another, irrespective of the borders in trade, polit politics, religion and cultural affiliations. Odama say the Prophecy Week, Peace Week, event started 14 years ago and it has made a great achievement to the lives of people of northern uganda who suffered decades of insurgencies yes and that's all i had for you thank you for watching be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on new vision tv by visiting our website which is www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video